Okay, so to assemble the rail, um, what you're gonna wanna do is we took out the hardware from the bag that was supplied with the machine. And what you're looking for are these two uh, thumb screws and the, uh, the bottle of Loctite. So the first thing that I always do is I go ahead, open the Loctite, and the Loctite is gonna be sealed so it doesn't um, explode during shipping. And if you have a pair of scissors, honestly, a, a knife can do it too. Just go ahead and cut the, uh, the uh, tip of it off. That way you're able to, to um, place it onto the screw and then I'll place the cap back on. Then the second thing I'll do, I'll grab the screws and I'll take off the, uh, the corresponding nuts to them. So here's one, it'll look like this. It does have a rubber washer on there, so you wanna make sure not to lose that. If it does, it isn't the end of the world, it's okay, but it just helps uh, not scratch the machine when you place it on. So um, I'll go ahead, grab the rail, take it off of the, uh, the cardboard spacer that it's on. And then we wanna go ahead and place it onto the machine. And the way that I do that is I, I centralize the, uh, the reinforcement bracket and I place it locking into position. That just helps me hold it. Uh, if I don't have an extra pair of hands that kind of helps me keep everything in place. And I'll grab the thumb screw, place it through. So if you notice the washers on the outside of the machine and then I'll go ahead and uh, butt it, button up the rail from there. Uh, before I put the nut on though, you want to make sure to put a drop of Loctite. Now the machine vibrates when it's functioning, so if you don't put Loctite on there, it will shake off these bolts. Um, so you, I'll show you here in a bit. The drop literally looks just like that, right? Nothing crazy, just enough uh, that it'll go ahead and stop the bolt from backing out while the machine is in operation. So I'm gonna grab the thumb. Uh, nut here and go ahead and I'm going to screw it in with my hand. It could be a little tight, but it's okay. There it is. It's on now. Now it's just a matter of a little bit of patience. And I won't tighten it super tight all the way. I'll wait a little until I get the uh, second one on there. Just because if you do, it could be hard to move it around. So again, making sure that that rubber washer is on the outside of the machine. The rail is on the inside of the machine, not out. So you wanna make sure it's on the inside of the machine. Place the bolt through, place the rail through. Go ahead and add a drop of Loctite on that thread, there it is. And we'll grab the nut and assemble it onto the thread. Okay, now that I have both on, I'll go ahead and give it a tight. Uh, again, I'm not muscling this and trying to do it as tight as I can. The glue is gonna do the work. Now that it's set, I'll, I'll actually wait to use the machine for about 20 minutes just to make sure that that Loctite sets correctly. And then I'll go ahead and, and, and test the machine. And that's the rail.